right. So the Pittsburgh Steelers aren't done with big picks this NFL draft. With the 52nd pick in the draft in the second round, the Steelers have taken wide receiver George Pickens out of the University of Georgia. Uh, big play receiver to pair with Kenny Pickett, who they took in the first. Miles, what do you have on uh, Pickens? That's right, Nick. Pickett gets Pickens. The receiver quarterback pairing is real here. They have very similar names, so obviously it's a match made in heaven. But uh, Pickens is really good. He has great ball skills. Uh, he's really great at catch point. Uh, he's good at getting separation late. He might not take the top off the defense early, but he's very good late getting separation, and he's incredibly good at hand fighting on routes. So, you know, he, he's going to win at the line of scrimmage and win late. But Pickens had a very, very good coming out party in 2019. He was graded at 85.5 by PFF. But then since then, he's gone down. Not too much, though. Uh, he's got a 70.7 and a 73.5 in 2021 and 2020, respectively. Uh, so he's a very consistent receiver. He's a very good receiver who played against a lot of good SEC talent. So this is this is what you want. You want a proven guy who has this. This is a like low floor, extremely high ceiling pick for the Steelers. Yeah, especially this late in the second round. And I think one of the comps, Tom Pelissero over at the NFL.com said, Pickens has drawn a lot of comparisons to A.J. Green. So back it up to the Cincinnati Bengals a number of years. Remember, they drafted A.J. Green and Andy Dalton in the same class, and those two had a very successful pairing in that same division, the AFC North. It sounds like the Steelers are doing the exact same thing here. They got Pickett in the first round, and here, here they go. They're bringing in Pickens to pair with Chase Claypool and Pat Firemuth at tight end, along with Najee Harris running back. This is a potent big play offense. And I think Pickett, you know, he's a mature quarterback. The Steelers are a mature organization. Any concerns with Pickens with some of the issues he had at Georgia? I think a, a structure like Pittsburgh is the perfect fit. Yeah, the only the only knocks against Pickens are injury, which probably a little bit fluky. He's going to be he's going to be all right. He'll come back from that one. Also on on the field, he's he's got into a few scuffles, got in fights, things like that. A few off the field concerns, but a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers is known to be able to take in guys who have a little bit of character concerns. Uh, and Mike Tomlin is such an excellent head coach. He can keep these guys. Look what they did with Antonio Brown for so long. They kept him under wraps. You know, Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers organization, as much as I hate them and think that they're terrible being a Ravens fan, they are extremely good. They're a very classy organization, are able to contain these things and really make these guys into men. So I think this is a perfect landing spot for Pickens, even though I hate it because I don't want to see him on the field across my Ravens. Yeah, I think the Steelers, they go from Juju Smith-Schuster, who his concerns were lame TikTok videos that everyone rolled their eyes at, to a guy who's concerned as he gets in fights. I'm not going to lie. I, li I prefer the guy who gets in fights over the TikTok video. So this is, like you said, great picks for Pittsburgh.